Hey guys, my name is Marnie and I am a professional wing girl and owner of the wing girl method, which means it's my job to tell you tons of secrets about women so you can be super successful with them. Dating and flirting at work. Should you do it? Is it worth it? Can you handle it? Will you take it too far? How far is too far? These are a lot of questions <laughs> surrounding something that is meant to be fun and light and playful. So here are my thoughts about flirting at the office. The office is a place that most people spend like more than 70% of their lives. So why not liven up that space by adding some flirting into the mix? That is to say friendly, bantery, non-harassing or sexual, overly sexual flirting. There are several levels of flirting and the level of flirting that's appropriate for the workspace is what I call connection creating flirting, which involves teasing, being playful, sharing personal information that is beyond surface level conversation, and making sure to stay away from anything pertaining to a more sexual nature. There aren't really good or bad ways to connection and flirt. The key thing that you wanna remember is to stay away from being overly sexual. And if you do get sexual and that type of flirting is not welcomed, don't continue to push it. It's a sign that it's not welcomed and that it needs to stop immediately. So as I said before, the workspace should be fun and you shouldn't have to shut down that playful side of you. Plus, connection flirting is the gateway to discovering who is into you and up for that next level of flirting. So if you shut up that first type of flirting, it's going to become pretty hard to see if that next level of flirting is even an option. So don't do it. Which leads me to my next topic of conversation. Should you date people at work? So after you've been open, fun, and flirty, most likely you're going to catch the eye of some of the women in the office, and some of them will also catch your eye, hopefully. I know a lot of you may be scared to take that flirting and turn it into something more out of fear of misreading signs, getting sued, or sexual harassment, and possibly creating an awkward situation in the place where you spend 70% of your time. I totally get those fears, but I also get that in today's world, people are super busy and rarely get to spend quality time meeting and connecting with people. The workspace can be a great place for facilitating a solid foundation and meeting wonderful people. Here are my three questions to ask yourself when deciding whether or not you can date people in the workspace. Question number one, do you really like them or is this just a physical crush that you'll be over once you get them, which is a good question. If it's just a crush and it won't amount to anything super serious, I would avoid taking it to that next level and just keeping it as something that makes your work life fun. Crushes are fun, enjoy it. But if you think there is more there and you want to explore, I say explore away. Question number two, can you handle being rejected? So let's say you guys date a few times and then things go cold. She's just not feeling it. Can you handle seeing her in the office every day and be mature and normal? If the answer is no, then don't do it. If the answer is of course, which hopefully it, it is, you can be mature and really mature, then date away. Question number three, can you handle whatever comes your way in a mature manner? This is closely related to the question number two, but this is a really important question to ask yourself and you need to be really honest. That means, Will you communicate openly and honestly with her about what is happening between the two of you? For example, you stop liking her and you just don't see her as someone serious or someone you wanna get serious with. Can you tell her this or will you avoid, avoid, avoid? If you can be mature and can communicate with her, then play ball, date away. So if you've asked yourself these three questions and have come up with mature, honest answers that say you can continue, then totally pursue. And by pursue, I mean start stating your intentions and ask her out. You don't even have to jump right into like a date scenario just yet, but you could say something like this. Let's go for a drink after work. It would be nice to see what you're like outside of the office. Maybe you won't be so uptight. <laughs> Obviously, this is said in a flirty way to continue on the flirting you were doing in the office. Then when you guys are out, step up your game and you can start doing things that you may not have done at work, like touching, strong eye contact, getting close. These are all things that help you gauge whether or not this level of flirting is a go for her. If it is, awesome, and you can continue flirting and escalating to whatever 
level you see fit. I think the workspace can be an awesome place for meeting other awesome singles and having fun with them. Just make sure that whatever level you take things to with them, you do it with respect, maturity, and authenticity. This will guarantee less drama, which we all want, and way more fun for you. For more insider tips, advice, and guidance on what women want, continue watching my videos right here on Ask Men. Or you can check out my website, winggirlmethod.com. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out on all the important insider information I'll be sharing about what women want right here on Ask Men. If there's a topic or a question that you want me to answer, make sure to tell me in the comments section below. Once again, I'm Marnie, your very own personal wing girl and the owner of the Wing Girl Method, and I'll see you soon.